hey you guys welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome to all my returning subscribers you know what we talk about over here right we talk about moving today we're talking about moving and minimalism now you might ask what is minimalism minimalism is enjoying the much simpler things in life as for myself having a frugal and minimalist mindset a few years ago I decided to take my 55 inch TV, two pieces of check luggage and two carry on board luggage with my entire family and we moved to the island of Jamaica. We did not move with anything but clothing or shoes and we left behind our furniture, all our electronics and every other possessions that we had. We left them all behind. Of course, I didn't get rid of everything all at once. I had left the majority of our stuff in my father's garage. And after two years, we decided we we're going to let them go. Because of course, there was no need for them and they were just sitting, being stored. And we realized that some people could do well with them. So we salvaged what we could and we donated everything. Now, I know it can be hard for many people to just take your possessions and get rid of them but if you're thinking about enjoying a simple life a life that is clutter free a life where you're enjoying every moment instead of paying too much attention on material possessions then you might get what i'm trying to say here don't you agree moving and minimalism is pretty much the how in moving how it's done We've already covered making the decision, we've found a place, we've decided on where we want to live. So now it's time to start packing. But before we get to the packing, let's talk a little bit about all the emotions and all the things that might be running through your head before you started gathering your stuff. We first have to silence that annoying voice in our head exposing all our insecurities am i making the biggest mistake of my life why am i doing this do i really want to do this am i gonna enjoy my new home do i have everything that i need do i need a car how am i going to survive all of these questions are just gonna keep rolling over and over inside your head and it's not because you're unsure or uncertain of why you're moving it's just normal for each and every human being we question whatever it is that we want to do because we all have fallen victim to the negative voices inside our heads and the reason for all this negativity is because we, we refuse to stop comparing our lifestyle or new home to that of the united states and you have to be comfortable with that you have to know that it will not be the same and be okay with it. You also have to accept the ideology that less is actually more. Yes, it can be more. If you can give up everything that you have to be able to spend quality time with your family, if you're very family oriented, if you can have the time of your life by having time on your hands to do all the things that you would love to do, wouldn't you do it? I know I did and oh let's not forget that we do live our entire lives being hoarders yes we all are hoarders especially in, in the United States we are consumed with the idea that every sale is a good sale so every day of the week every holidays there is a sale we have fallen victim to this mentality and we acquire stuff until we run out of room to store them and we pay for storage if you live a life hoarding all this stuff and collecting items such as fashion pieces the latest electronics and gadgets you will not be able to live a simple life it might be very challenging to part ways with all your material possessions and withdrawal symptoms might set in when you start downsizing to make your move. I am working earnestly to change the narratives for my children, especially that they don't have to give up a stress-free life for one that is just a lack of appreciation for the much simpler things, or that they have to partake of the many luxuries that are just readily available. 
for breakfast we're gonna have porridge we're gonna have boiled bananas boiled dumplings or fried dumplings or ackee and saltfish and kalaloo yes so yum those are the things we're gonna eat i'm not gonna go to the grocery store to buy cereal and all that imported stuff that is sometimes three times what it's worth in the united states just because i can no way i choose to do quite the opposite and I know later on in life they will thank me and they will appreciate it. Whatever way you choose to live your life, just look at it as being a mindset. And we have to get accustomed to the judgment of others without placing any pressure on ourselves to feel accepted. We need to live or start living our lives on our own terms. Take for instance success. What is our definition of success? Success is making money and acquiring all material possessions, cars, big houses, you name it, designer brands in fashion. But guess what? My peace of mind and the flexibility to live my life on my own terms is what I consider to be a part of my success. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we don't need money and we don't need our material things. Yes, we do, because they're for comfort, of course. However, when you can appreciate the simpler things in life, you will not place that much pressure on yourself. You won't have to stretch yourself thin just to feel like you have made some accomplishment. I never consider myself to be ordinary. Never have and I never will. I will never teach my kids how to be ordinary. Extraordinary doesn't mean you have to conform. That means you have to be like everyone else, no. Sometimes it's the little things that really count. So to wrap up today's video, you guys, I want to say that everything that I've mentioned, it's in hopes that you will find peace in your decision and that you will follow through and accomplish your heart's desire. But to talk about how to find peace, that's another story and another video for another day. If you have enjoyed my video today, I ask that you give me a thumbs up or you can comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Please like and share. See you next time.